it's really difficult because models are technically independent contractors. So I think there's been the uh, model union thing has been thrown around a lot lately. Um, and um, I think that in terms of reforms within the industry, it's like I said, it's I think more than anything there needs to be a more like a knowledge sharing system. Um, so you as you know the owner of your own business or me as the owner of Laura Kell model mm -hmm. can go and can access other you know information um, you know whether that's in terms of you know something like models by models or you know something on like a larger spectrum I think the most powerful thing we can do in our industry is as models is share information with one another the age thing I think that um, models don't need to be traveling until you're an adult um, you know, I can look at the industry completely differently as someone who is in their 20s, who has gone to school, who's actually taken a business class, versus someone who's 16. So I think, you know, and this is booking models under, you know, and marketing underage models to, you know, an adult audience totally aside. I just think that for, you know, the health of that model, she does not need to be traveling until she's an adult. Um, so, I mean, that's another thing. Um, I mean... You know, again, you know, young girls don't need to be doing sexy photo shoots. It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, I think there was an article I read about an agent. Um, I think it was in the New York Times magazine, and she was saying, oh, if I don't scout this 16-year-old or this 15-year-old girl, my competitor will. And I understand where that agent is coming from, but at the same time, there's no harm in scouting a girl and then saying, okay, great, like, let's, you know, wait until you're of age yeah. to start developing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I understand that agencies are businesses. They have to function, you know, their way, too. They have to, and they have to, but if a girl's not, you know, and there, the, 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 the thing is, too, it's really difficult to say, because I do know some fantastic models who are under the age of 18, who are doing great things, their parents are on top of it with them, and that's great that they're having that experience. But the majority of the models that do travel who are underage, I think that it's not, you know, how is it a positive experience having your daughter go out, you know, go out to nightclubs at 15, 16 years of age? And like, let's say Shanghai, because hey, I saw that. So I think that the biggest thing is like sharing information. If there is some sort of way we could do that um, collectively, um, maybe have agencies encourage that. Um, and obviously, you know, like I said, like girls who are underage don't need to be traveling. They need to be at home with their families. Um, I think it's unrealistic to say something like, uh, uh, like, oh, we should, there should be an international agreement to ban all young models from traveling or to ban them all from working or getting work visas. I think it's totally unrealistic because if you look at the legislative side of it all, because, you know, I have a law background, it's just not, it's not realistic. Yeah. And many models... How do you regulate that? You can't regulate, especially when you have situations where you've got models going to the United States who don't have work visas. Mm -hmm. That happens. They're going anyway. All the time. Yeah. And so we're throwing around this word model union, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I won't go to the U.S. because I don't have a visa. I have, you know, I have an Italian passport. I can go to, you know, I can go to, um, yeah. to Europe and, you know, work there. So we're talking, throwing around, you know, reform and this and that. And I know a lot of big players in this model union idea, which is still, I think, you know, the I think the model alliance is great. I have no issues with the whole idea, but I think we're throwing around these words and we're not looking at the actual logistics and the legality side of it. How are you going to have a union when maybe, and I don't know what the percentage is in New York right now, but maybe 50% of the models working there are working illegally. In so many markets you get paid in cash. And sure. Pay. I mean, it's fine to get paid in cash. Like, that's fine. But, like, you have to, when you come home, declare it, right? Mm -hmm. But how many people do? Exactly. I did. <laughs> just, in case the revenue, just in case Revenue Canada is wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Government approved. Yeah. Go. <laughs> I'm going to get audited. <laughs> the thing is, is, like, no, but when you're 16 years old, like, you know, if you do have a part-time job, she, you know, you're gonna have to declare that. Everyone has to file taxes if they're working, mm -hmm. but, you know, her parents hopefully should be helping her out with that. Mm -hmm. My parents still help me out with that, mm -hmm. so. You gotta declare taxes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take one thing away from this interview, you gotta yeah. declare taxes. <laughs> My father's an accountant. <laughs>